Hello, this is Brad Larkin and I'm going to show you how to do your DNA test from Family Tree DNA. First thing to know is what to assemble. You've got your kit that you received in the mail, a pair of scissors is a nice way to open it, and maybe have a towel or napkin standing by. When you open the kit, the brown paper envelope will be your return uh, envelope, so it's uh, already got padding in it, so you'll want to retain that. You pull your kit out. It's going to have three, two or three of the uh, swabs. These are what you're going to use to swab your uh, inside of your cheek to get your DNA cells. It's going to have a uh, informed consent release and a uh, sign-up sheet. The release form we'll cover here shortly. So note that there are printed instructions in the kit along with a letter from Family Tree DNA. To open a swab, what you're going to do is identify, take one of the swabs and identify the brush end, which has kind of the sort of bristles, and the other end, which is a pull tab. At the, at this thin in without the bristles, peel back a corner like this, and then open it up. Be sure when you grab it, grab the fat end, not the, uh, not the, the push tab. Be sure to tear the paper all the way down past the brush so that it doesn't accidentally tear the brush head off. Open your mouth, insert the swab, and scrape the inside of your cheek with the rough end of the brush. Again, do not scrape the gum of your teeth, scrape your cheek. Open your sample container. Be sure not to uh, contaminate the brush with anything else. And when you've got it in, now push the release. And like that, you should see the, the brush tab came off in there. That's what we want. Just set that to the side. Rescrew the cap and put that in your bag to be sent back to the lab. Repeat that process for the other swabs you have in your kit. Again, put the brush into the vial, depress the plunger, that will cause the brush head to release into the vial. That way you get the brush head off without having to touch it. Okay, let's do the paperwork. First thing is, if you've got one, fill out your uh, order form. Important thing to note is at the top, the test kit number. That's what's going to, how your results are going to be known at the lab. The test kit number will be at the bottom of the barcode on your individual test files as well as on this label here on the bag. So it will also be on your release form, which is your next piece of paper. On your release form in the top left, put your name, sign with the signature, basically saying that you are taking this test uh, in an informed way and no one's holding your arm and uh, twisting it. Okay, now you've done all your paperwork, you've swabbed your cheek with all your swab kits, and it's time to pack it up and mail it back to the lab. First thing, we're going to fold up the informed consent form, put it in the plastic bag, drop our uh, test files in, fold up our order sheet if we've got one. Okay. As I close it here, I'm going to try and squeeze the air out of it so that it will fold fairly flat. Put it into the brown bio mailer envelope. Close the top, remove the, uh, remove the seal tape, close it up, put a postage stamp on it, and mail it off to Family Tree DNA Lab.